Hi there, my name is Marco Lopez and today I'm going to show you a strategy to help you improve everything in your life. So who wouldn't want to improve everything in their life? I think all of us would say, you know, we could use room for some improvement in our lives to be able to change the circumstances, the events, the results in our lives. Wouldn't that be nice if there were something that we could do to do that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. And if I show you how to do that, will you act on it? Will you do something about it? Will you do something today about it? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay. So what you want to understand is that everything in our results, everything in, in life, in your results, in your circumstances are created by you. It's actually, even though a lot of people, you know, people who are unaware, people who are ignorant, feel like they are like, you know, the, they are the victims. Maybe they wouldn't say that, but they feel like they are sad. They're down because of things going on outside. I, I lived in Spain for a while and it was so common for me to see people. I would see people on the streets and I'd say, hey, how are you doing? And they're like, bad, bad, bad. Oh, what's, what's wrong? The weather's bad. The government's bad. Blah, blah, blah. Like all these things outside of them are bad. And so therefore, they have to be bad. They have to be sad. And, but that is so common in the world today, in the world that we live in. In fact, nine, I would say 99% of people kind of live in that way. They are reactive to the things that are going on around them. If their bank account is low, then they are sad. If their bank account is high, if they've got you know, flush with money, then you're happy. If, if your girlfriend loves you, you're happy. If your girlfriend just dumped you, you're sad. And, you know, so we're allowing ourselves to be controlled by everything that's going on on the outside. But I want to tell you that that is not how it has to be. When you realize this, when you realize what I'm about to tell you, if you can really understand this and study it until you understand it, it will change everything in your life. See, your what you create in your life depends on your awareness of who you are and understanding that. And one thing that you want to understand, you want to be sure you understand, is that you are a creator. One of the things that you are is a creator. You are a, Thomas Troward said, you are a creative distributor of a life-giving force. So you get to be the creative distributor of a life-giving force. You get to create the things around you. It's not your power. You're not the one doing it. You're the instrument. You're the one who's moving things, but you're working with a bigger power and you get to be the instrument for moving those things around. And so through your attitude, through your thoughts, by virtue of your thoughts, you can change the things around you. You get to change. You can change the amount of money in your bank account. You can change your relationships with people, but it comes from you. It's something that you're doing. So as long as you're thinking, as long as you're convinced that the results that you're getting in your life are, are a result of something someone did to you. It's because she dumped me. It's because my parents got divorced. It's because my client uh, was dumb or whatever it is, you know, whatever this outside thing is, because the weather was bad, because the, the market was bad, right? Whatever thing you're putting, you're giving so much importance to that is affecting you, that thing is you're allowing to control you, but you want to reverse that. So turn it, you know, the other way around and realize it's coming from you. It depends on what you do. You are the cause and that thing is the result. So I want to give you a challenge. I want to give you a very specific way to, to apply this. Okay. People believe that most people believe that the amount of money that they make determines your happiness and your satisfaction. But I would turn it around and say that for sure, it's not that way. It's your happiness and your satisfaction today determine the money in your bank account and the income and your overall wealth tomorrow. So it starts with something inside of you and you create by just by your awareness of that, by your happiness, by your joy, by you being in that state, you start to create all these things outside of you and you'll get that realization that it's you. You are the one that's doing it. So I want you to realize that. Now, make a decision today that you are going to enjoy 
everything, everything in your life, everything in your life. Um, because again, it, you're, if your satisfaction, if your overall happiness and satisfaction determine the results in your life, then why would you want to be up and down and up and down and up and down all the time? You're only up and down happiness wise because you're allowing these outside things to control you. Make you and your emotions, make that be the central place and trust in that power that's moving through you. Trust it and you just trust that you fixating on, on the positive side and looking for the good things, looking for the blessing in the trial, the challenge or the, 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 the good side of whatever difficult thing you're dealing with. By you looking at that and actually giving gratitude for that, you're going to open up your world because you're going to be happier and that happiness is going to expand your world. You can enjoy, you can enjoy every single thing in your life. I'm just going to give you an example from the perspective of a business owner. I work with business owners and business owners, um, there are a lot of things that business owners don't like in general. They may not like to do their bookkeeping. They like everything in their business, but they don't like the bookkeeping. And so it may be that bookkeeping that, you know, the times when they're doing bookkeeping, it just brings them down. It brings their energy level way down and that could be affecting their results. Also, somebody who, you know, they like their business, but they don't like doing the sales, right? So that time, those moments that they're doing sales, because their energy goes way down, it's affecting their results, right? But you don't have to do anything in your life. There isn't anything that you have to do. But you might say, okay, but no, if I don't sell, I'm, I'm going to lose my business. But do you want your business? Do you want to do your business? Is having a, a, a business more important than getting out of sales? Maybe you'd say yes. So therefore, if you've got to do sales, embrace the sales. If you've got to do the bookkeeping, embrace the bookkeeping. If you've got to deal with technology, enjoy the technology. Enjoy it, right? It's, it's all about perspective and it's all about where your focus is. Um, Albert Gray, in a famous article called, called The Common Denominator of Success, he talked about how success is, is really dependent on, you know, successful people are focused on pleasing results. While people who commonly experience failure, it's because they're focused on pleasing methods. They don't want to do things that are hard. They don't want to do the uncomfortable things. They just want to do things that are comfortable. And they will not want to do those unpleasing things. But it's all about perspective. If I'm doing the sales and I do it happily with gratitude in my heart that I get to be a business owner and that you know, because I get to be a business owner, I get to do this thing. This is part of the whole package. It's all about perspective. If you can change your outlook, if you can start to play with this idea and understand that what it is that you think, that, you know, the way that you think, um, the perspective you take on things and your attitude and the way that you do everything, that if you will start to see and watch the correlation, the cause and effect here, how you improving your attitude towards things improves your external results, you will have discovered one of the huge secrets of life. And you will have discovered a key to improving everything, everything in your life. So I want to encourage you to do that. Take, make a list of the things that you feel like you have to do that you don't like to do and either remove those from your life or change your attitude about the way you do that. If you do, you'll see, you'll improve your energy and you'll improve your outside results. Go and put that to work and use it to have a calmer and more confident day today. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.